In this video, we are going to review a new chat GPT rival which is called poe.com, so which is launched by Quora founders. So you are going to learn so much from this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it because you are going to learn so much from this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you need is what is Poe and why there is a need for a new AI tool just like we have already like chat GPT or Jasper chat or something like that. The thing is Quora, as you know, it's a knowledge based website and it is understandable that they are launching their new AI tool, which also helps the users, which is very specific to their user base because Quora is all about answering your question. And if they have a AI tool or AI chat, just like chat GPT, then it's a uh, beneficial for their user base to use their particular tool so they are open so po.com if you go to the po.com it is only available for ios users so i'm sorry for the android or the windows or there's actually no web version also so there's a bummer but if you use macbook pro then you can easily download using the app store and there you will find something interface like that and the thing is before jumping onto the video, let me tell you that this port.com is based on two AI models. First is OpenAI, which ChatGPT use, and there is second Anthropic, which recently acquired by Google for $400 billion. They use two models, which is actually the best part because if you use ChatGPT pretty regularly, then obviously they are actually lagging behind because of the free server is getting bloated all the time and the po.com is actually new and you will be able to use that for your content marketing strategy for coding or any assistance you want so let's go to the interface after you sign up using your mobile number or email you will get the interface like that when you have invites also i think i think it may be get into invite only afterwards so if you are in you are might lucky and there is a profile section setting section this is very basic interface and now you have a three chatbot available here it's available on sage cloud and dragonfly so how do you know you actually using open ai model or anthropic AI model so that's where a poe that's where post stands out so if you go to the sage here if you click on the sage button and here it says this chat this bot is powered by open ai so that's it so if you browse between the others just open that if you click on that and this is this bot is powered by the anthropic so that's how you can differentiate which model you are actually using so we are now able to compare anthropic ai model and open ai model and let's see which actually works best or provide accurate information and before going up to that you can also add your own like clicking on add add another bot as you can see other bots are currently in development and please check back later so if you want to add more you will be able to i think you will be able to add more bots to your application once they start adding it more so that's it you have three bots available here first two open eyes one is from anthropic so i'm very curious to explore the anthropic version because cloudy as you can see this anthropic so let's divide this review into three parts first will be we will be uh, extracting some knowledgeable content from it like fun fact about something and the second will be about creating a social media content ideas and third will be about the development part so let's see how this particular tool works and we will be doing for the both for the anthropic bot also and for the open air so let's start with the claudia so this is the anthropic version so let's find what it has to offer so let's start with a fun fact about about new york just to get the knowledge so here let it run and we will be doing the dragonfly which is also open ai fun fact about so let it run so let's see what claudia says so here are interesting fact about the new york city for five borrow so this is this is this is it so this is the interface you might see and the fun thing is if they have highlighted the main keywords in their output for example here is as you can see there's the new york new york cities and empire state building and this these are something which you can actually use it for more information for example you want to know about uh, empire state building right just in in case you want to you don't want to write or something just click on it 
so it will start reacting it like tell me more about the empire state building so there it will start telling you about the empire state building about in a flash so that's the one function which po stands out from the rest so as you can see you will be able to find all the information using claude which is the anthropic bot so going to the open ai one so it also has the similar display as you can see this is just giving on the random information there's no fun fact about it so if you click on the tell me more so new york city is home etc so i think open it yeah is lagging behind the anthropic version the anthropic is actually giving us much more information which we want like it's telling about the empire state building yellow cap taxi are outnumbered by the ride sharing cabs like uber and lifts so that's one interesting fact and there is a, was a gift from France in 1886. So Statue of Liberty is a gift from France in 1886. If you have not, if you haven't known yet, then there is a information for you. So I think the Tropic version is giving more information or more fun fact about New York than Open AI. I don't know if there is a limitation or something, but there is no such fun fact about New York as is stated. like in the anthropic so anthropic version is standing out right here so this is about this just general knowledge and now let's see or let's see if the anthropic version is actually giving us the any content ideas for our channel suppose i have a technological channel or tech channel across different social media channels so i want to make a reel on technology basic content so let's see suggest content ideas or i would say Instagram reel content ideas around main topic which is SEO So let me just copy this command and I will ask the same to the open AI version just let me copy that and let's see if it does give us some ideas So let's compare the content ideas from both of them So here is a day in the life of SEO expert shows the different task and responsibility of SEO special okay next is SEO tips for beginners share some practical tips for site owners all okay behind the scene of successful SEO campaign so SEO tools and so i think it's okay SEO trend discuss the latest SEO trend which can be doable so SEO myths debunk so there there it is so you have a 4 3 ideas that you can use to create more about the instagram reels and if we go to the dragonfly here as you can see how to optimize your website for seo and tips for creating seo friendly content so i think the outcome from chat gpt or i would say open ai is more precise because that's what i want i want the content ideas not just giving me the suggestion of some seo campaign or something like that so i personally like the open ai one outcome so let's go further ahead and let's see if they can actually write the script for us like we have done in the part of the chat gpt okay so write script video script i would say on topic to optimize your blog content for seo let me copy also that let's see the difference So let me copy this again for the open AI one. So let's see how it actually comes out. So here is a draft video script how you can apply for SEO introduction. So this is giving the introduction here. So tip number 1 choose relevant page titles that are that's nice. Tip number 2 use targeted keywords in your that's nice. So build internal links or optimize content for mobile and speed that's actually nice and there is a conclusion so they have drafted a whole content or a video script for us so i think anthropic is actually moving ahead let's see the outcome of open ai okay so open ai is not giving much information here start by understanding the basics of seo or something like that but anthropic is giving us the whole video script right there so that's the difference between the two but i think ChatGPT is more reliable in this case than just using the OpenAI models, but I think OpenAI is model that is given to the third-party website like Apollo.com is not that specific that ChatGPT. So that's my personal opinion. 
so there it is this is everything about that okay anyways so let's move ahead and let's see if they both have a uh, coding cup capabilities okay so let's see so let's see create a to do list in html cs and javascript let's define something more in which user can delete once completed the to do item oh sorry so let's see if anthropic version can do it here is a rough outline of how you can create a to do list delete functionality okay mm -hmm. So it's giving a uh, steps from where you can actually do it. So let's see Anthropic can code that or not. So it has started coding it. So now moving forward to the OpenAI version. So ChatGPT is actually very capable of doing such thing because we have already uploaded the playlist where you can actually do that. I know I don't know why it's not giving me an answer here as it is about uh, powered by open ai anyway let's go to the sage one okay so dragonfly which is also for the open ai and the sage is also for the open ai bot so it is giving me an answer but dragonfly is not so maybe you can try one of them to check which model is working for you let's go to the cloudy here so it has done creating it that's it so let's just see if it actually works or not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to okay there's no copy okay i cannot copy anything from here why is that okay so there is no no copy option here <laughs> i don't know why maybe i will be able to copy on phone but i am not able to copy on this okay so i can copy using the share button so i am going to copy that and see if it's working or not so for that part what i am going to do is i am going to code pen for that part what i am going to do going to code pen.io and start coding it let me copy that okay now i can copy that okay let me copy this so it's very hard to copy from po.com if you are using it for something like this let me just paste that here so there is a to-do list which is i think looking good let's see uh, i item one so this is added if i click on it it's gone so i think it's working very much fine and let's see about the second the sage one and i cannot copy that again if i click on sh share privately you have to apply multiple step here and after that let me share on my safari and there i may be able to copy the code and let's go here okay so it has the different set of things let's me mm, okay here is a body section anyway pasting that here so let me copy the css it's so hard to work around po.com if you're using them or apply that into your real life and just copy that css to here and there is a javascript code 
that adds behavior to our to-do list let me copy that to here so let's see if it's working or not let me add item one okay so if i have completed the item one from the to-do list i can delete that so it's working so both are working very much fine so if you are not comfortable or if you're not satisfied with the one bot you can use the another bot and just jiggle around with it so that's the review of port.com is it better than chat gpt or get jazz.com or something like that then i think no because the, yes they use multiple ai model like anthropic or open ai but i personally suggest if you are into content marketing or something like in the coding part or something like that then you should start using getjest.com because they uses two or three model and they have combined that into one particular application and there you will be able to create unique content and for the development part you should start using the chat gpt as you have seen so many videos around the chat gpt coding part you can easily choose that over po.com so po.com is only for the information which you can receive just like a quora.com where one asks a question and one replies with the answer so that's what it is all about so if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel to get more content like this in future then you should subscribe to the channel so see you in the next video already then bye bye